Hello, collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. All right, so there's someone that uh, passed away. Uh, this could be someone that was very hardworking, someone very uh, committal loyal this could have been someone in like their middle age uh possibly a masculine um that may have passed away but someone was very hard working i don't know if they passed away from being exhausted or maybe someone took <laughs> no they didn't pass away from overworking someone was taken out by a, a feminine energy this is someone that loves money whoever this feminine energy is is someone that is absolutely obsessed with money there may be something about poisoning or something about medication that was given to someone but she basically took out her lover because of money to have access to his money i don't know what all i keep hearing is she did it for money like i don't know if maybe her lover was older than her and she was waiting eagerly for him to pass away she may have worked with other people behind the scenes to take this man out but whoever they took out was extremely hard working someone may have been wealthy and very skilled and talented at what he did uh, was very established very committed to his his work and all of that and may have garnered a lot of wealth while he was alive but whoever he may have partnered up with would have been like a facade a feminine energy was a false energy right so she may have worked uh with uh possibly a, a king of swords queen of swords she worked with someone, either a feminine energy, to take this man out. And he is... Uh, someone has a lot to say. Someone is not at peace until something is resolved. Like she, Someone took this man out for money. Are you at peace? I don't know if he's at peace, but someone took him out for money for his wealth so they could spend recklessly. She wanted to be bougie. She didn't want to be seen with an older, older man or whatever this is. Uh, what is this? What is this? Like whoever this woman took out was extremely intelligent. Very hardworking intellectual very organized there may be something about receipts or documents that the courts need to look into or someone in the court system helped her manipulate so that she could receive something that does not belong to her uh so whoever has been or was taken out this was possibly a light worker he may have maybe wanted to work with a queen of swords and the woman he was with didn't want him working with this Queen of Swords. She was in some type of competition with this woman. And maybe the Queen of Swords was not even aware of her. <laughs> it's like someone taking you out so you don't so you don't give an opportunity to someone or so they can have full access to your money. But something is backfiring in this greedy woman's life. Whatever this is. Something is backfiring. Someone is about to be out in the cold, maybe getting put out of a home. Some type of some type of eviction notice, like like some type of judgment or will directive uh, that was put into place before a person passed away, and someone in the court system helped a greedy woman avoid that or audit it, and they've been out here spending someone's money. And they may be worried now because something is going to be exposed. Yeah, something is about to be exposed about what these people did behind the scenes. They took someone out for money. 
there's something about medical I'm hearing. They may have given him the wrong medication or overdosed him, something of that nature. I don't know if he was sick and they had someone coming over to take care of him or he was in a hospital. Uh, I don't know what this is. It's a, it was an older gentleman, <sighs> Caucasian, that was taken out. He was already sick and they just, like they, 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 they quickened it for him, basically. Like he was already sick and there's something they did to give him so that he could just be gone. I don't know what this is. Someone has not been, someone has not been dead for a long time though. And he's in a lot of emotional distress, not resting in peace. Has a lot to say about a betrayal that he went through with this woman of high honor in a community. I'm just going to take my time with this one. Usually I'm... But since this is something that has to do with death, we're going to take our time with it. Whoever this is, is not in peace. He wants something to be resolved, something to be exposed. He feels betrayed. Someone's going through a lot of emotions, even though that someone is not resting in peace because of the way he was taken out. It's come, it's almost like when this man passed away, his soul saw what it is that had been going on. So like when he was here, he didn't know that this woman didn't have his interest at his best interest at heart. So he may have trusted this woman, maybe chose to work with her, partner up with her, but she was out here betraying him the whole time. Um, so now that his soul is seeing things from a higher perspective, obviously he knows what she's about. So there's something that he is determined to expose, to resolve something that this woman took does not belong to her and he wants it taken from her. So if it was like a house, some money, property, whatever it is, he does not want her to have it. He does not want her to have it. It's going to be taken from her and given to whoever it is that it belongs to. Like someone, I don't know who this man is in the afterlife, but he's pissed off. He's angry. He feels emotionally betrayed. He like feels betrayed because this is someone he trusted. Okay. Even though he's going through betrayal in the afterlife, this man is still trying to connect with people to expose the truth with this Knight of Cups coming out. Someone was very genuine. He's heartbroken that he extended his friendship to someone or his emotions to someone and it turned out to be someone that was thick, false, using him for money. Because this is a woman, whoever I'm picking up on, that knows how to present herself in a specific light. She may have even done this to an older person before, like a senior citizen or something like that. And she she uh, 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 did the scene to this man. There's something about a malicious character in a community that did something to a man for money. And you all need to look into it. This man is in distress, but even though he's in distress in the spirit realm, he is still trying to reach out to people to expose what happened to him. So it's like, I trusted her or whatever. I didn't tell her she could have that. That was not my will. My will was audited. I didn't leave that for her. She was never a true friend. Whatever this is, like there's some type of manipulation that took place and he's upset with it. He's like, I told her, I told you who to give this to. I was very direct with my instructions and things like that. To the lawyer, there's a lawyer or someone in the judicial system that this man may be upset with. It's like he made his will clear with her. He worked with the lawyer and told her who to give something to. It was very direct. Give this to this person. It may have something to do with that reading I did where I saw like someone had written a check for someone in like a, a, a an enormous amount. Like the amount of money I saw on that on that check was ridiculous. It was a ridiculous amount of money. He he was very direct and clear with his instructions when he told this lawyer or his uh, uh, financial advisor, whoever this was to him, give this to this person. But this financial advisor, this lawyer or whoever this is, whoever was managing his estate went against his will and created some type of, uh, took, missed, did some type of fraud, audited something. 
because this other woman paid her to do so. But the instructions that were that were given to this lawyer was were very clear and direct. There is no way she didn't understand what this man was telling her to do when he was alive. Like he was very direct, very direct. And she got out here and did her own thing. She partnered up with that greedy woman so that they could make things go in their favor. Probably paid her some more money. Um, after the deed was done, uh, <laughs> you're both in hot water. The truth is going to come out. Yeah, the truth is going to come out. We got to, to cherry it out here. The truth is going to come out. I am saying that you have children. He had children. Where were his children when he was going through this stuff? Maybe they didn't know. They may not have known that something was something malicious was going on behind the scenes. Or maybe they knew and they didn't care too much for this woman. So maybe they kept their distance from their father in order to not have to interact with this greedy woman. Because they saw through her. Their father didn't see through him. I mean through her. Excuse me. And these two could have been together for a very long time. For a very long time. And she, she took him out for money. She took this man out for money. There's some type of legal case that's coming in. This man had children. And he had a good relationship with his children. And they're all doing very well in life. This could have been someone that was well known. That was sticking out. There's a court case coming up folks. For a group of people. I don't know if this was like a collaboration. Among friends. But you're all going to have to find the strength. Because there's something that's going to be exposed about you all. And what you did behind the scenes. Working together to hide some type of inheritance. But whoever passed away was very clear and direct. Uh, with what they wanted done with their money or their estate and you all went and did your own thing and you assume things are going to go in your favor it's almost yeah you are going right to poverty you assume something was going to go in your favor or something was going to keep going because you've been doing something behind the scenes to further a lie some type of narrative i don't know what this is but whoever this is that passed away He's he's upset with you all. He's upset. And he's he's doing things to balance the situation out. If you all have a benevolent spirit that is determined to make something be balanced out, fix something, and you're in for a long ride, I'm telling you. Something's about to backfire as heck. I asked what kind of uh, job he did. This could have been someone that was very spiritual. This could have been someone that was an ascended master. This could have been someone that was in the spiritual community. Someone that may have given speeches, public speaker. Uh, I don't know what this is, but someone was into spirituality. And maybe he passed away. And before he passed away, there was a directive order put in place. His will was put in place for something to be given to someone. And a woman got out here because of greed. And has some type of fraud committed in the court system and whoever was working with her is in a whole heap of trouble a whole lot of trouble this woman has been working with a quite a group of people behind the scenes to be able to keep something that does not belong to her you're not going to be able to keep it sorry to tell you i'm not sorry to tell you you stole it you still stole it sir why are you still here i mean i already know why you're still here i'm telling you He's still here because he's seen things for what they are now. He's seen things for what they are now. Someone didn't see clearly. I mean, he's an ascended master, but like I always said, we all have something to learn. There was someone in front of him the whole time that was betraying him and he did not know. But he wants to be able to move on. But until this is resolved, he cannot move on. So something needs to be resolved so this man can rest in peace. Uh, go to the spirit realm. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, what lessons did he learn about being truth, taking charge of life, learning the truth of who you are, why you are here. I'm telling you, someone was very wise. You see the Eight of Cups and the freaking Ace of Swords? Someone was very wise. 
But there's some type of manipulation this woman had going on that he could not catch on to what it is she was doing. Someone was very deceitful. And I'm also hearing at some point he may have started picking up on her energy. So this is why he put a will in place. Like he was picking up on her inconsistencies. And he put a will in place uh, so that when he was gone, was gone things would be... Things will be balanced out. Things will be taken care of. But she went and did this. So he maybe thought that he had him put in a will in place would ensure that his his uh, uh, desires were uh, respected. Like his his request would be re re respected. But whoever this woman worked with, his very own. I don't know if this is his lawyer or she has her own. I feel like this is his lawyer that she paid to do something. They said, you you, you make sure this goes to me. I'll take care of you. And they went ahead and did it. And then the greedy woman went ahead and partnered up with other people in your community. You, the woman that's not even around, that something was supposed to be given to. Or you could be a masculine as well. And she partnered up with other people to make sure that you don't get what it is that belongs to you. Now this man is gone. And he ain't happy. Like, this is a pure energy I'm picking up on, but there's something he's not happy about that's taking place and he needs it resolved. And he said he's not giving up until it is resolved. Like, he, he don't mind bothering people, haunting people. He may even be haunting this woman until something is resolved or someone's ancestors could be hunting her. About to be going through a ten of swords. Karma, getting a taste of her own medicine, but she stole something. She stole something. She stole someone's inheritance. She stole someone's uh, estate. Basically stole this man's estate. There's something. What I'm hearing is that she was with this man and had a whole nother lover. On the, I said lover. Seven of Pentacles came out. Yeah. <sighs> Woo. She was with this man and had a whole nother lover on the side that she was dealing with and she was using this man money this deceased man's money and taking it to this lover and investing in him right and they came up with some type of plot to take this man out and they went through with it and they've been living off of this deceased man money quite lavishly they've been living a lavish lifestyle I don't know if she owned a business before business ain't doing too good May, this man could have owned a business and she shut it down or something after he passed away. I don't know what this is. But there's some type of trickery going on. As far as what he wants us to know. What a, what a charming person. The man, this man said invest in what it is you want to achieve in life. Everything comes through hard work. So that's a message for her. Meaning you're about to lose everything because you didn't work for it. And she knows that and she's worried about it. But why would you go to the extent to do this? And this was someone that cared about her too, from what I'm picking up on. Like he cared. He was very committed to this woman and was very committed to his lawyer. He may have been working with the same lawyer for years and he thought he could trust this lawyer. But apparently money talk BS walking a lot of relationships. Friendship, platonic, romantic. She betrayed this man heavily. Whoever this lawyer is, is a woman that I'm seeing that helped this greedy uh, woman of high honor. These kids didn't trust this woman at all. They didn't trust her. That's what they want people to know. They didn't trust her. So they saw through her. Maybe their father didn't see as much as they saw. Maybe he started picking up at, towards the end. Like this is someone, if this man was going through some type of health issues, she may have probably started leaving him alone with whom health is and things like that and going to go be with her lover. And then when she would come home, be pretending like she was, you know, she missed him and she had a hard day or blah, 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 blah. Like someone's very pretentious. Very pretentious. May have even told people she didn't know where you were. Whole time she's stalking you and things like that. Something is about to backfire very heavily. Oh man, the karma ain't going to be easy. Something is about to backfire. Like this is all by means of the spirit realm balancing something out. This man says he wants something to be resolved. He said that is not the will he put in place. Whatever is taking place, that's not what he ordered. And this is the stuff people need to pay attention to. Just because someone passed away does not mean they don't have authority to make decisions anymore. 
He said he was very direct with his order, clear with his orders, and told him what he wanted him to do. Like, he, he admired you. Whoever you are that he left this for, he admired you. And she may have been jealous of that. Like, you were someone very straightforward. He appreciated that. Maybe you two came from different backgrounds, and he appreciated that because you opened his mind to some type of new perspective. May have even been trying to get in contact with you, but couldn't do it because she was causing hindrances. There's something like that going on, but there was a man that was taken out. Man, someone worked hard their whole life to get to where they were just for a Jizzy Bill, an incubus, succubus spirit to come and take everything from him. And he said he ain't having it. So there's some type of court case that may come up and it's not going to go in her favor. Someone's about to be out in the streets, put out in the streets and nobody's going to care. Like someone has a bunch of clients that she thinks are friends because everyone is collaborating with her. She had to pay. So those are clients. Those are not friends. And this is what people always mistaken. Anytime there's some, some type of business transaction between you and a person, it's not a friendship. It's a business relationship. It's a business transaction. So when push comes to show and people are going through court cases or she has to go through some type of court case and explain why it is she did what she did, why she dis disregarded or disobeyed this man's order, she and the lawyer, it's going to be problems. It's going to be problems. And she's being paid to shut someone up or something like that. Hide them so this truth does not come out. It's coming out. Whether it's today, tomorrow, or next week, it's coming out. And you're going to have a whole lot of problems to deal with. Someone's going to be pulled out of a home. Going to have to walk away, learn to live in their truth, or learn to take charge of life in some way, shape, or form. Invest in whatever future they want to have. But as far as you live in the rest of your life comfortably, off of someone else's back, is the end of the road for you. I don't know what to tell you. But all the manipulations and things like that, that's over with. You can rest assured. Whatever you stole is going to be taken from you. How you get it is how you lose it. Remember that they're saying when it comes to, to relationships, how you get them is how you lose them. It's the same thing with wealth. How you get it is how you lose it. Like so, Whoever this man was that passed away, this was her genuine energy. That he loved this woman. She could have whatever she wanted. Spoiled her. Had her looking good. Put her in like the upper class. Like took good care of her and she did him like that my goodness i'm out y'all thank you for watching stay blessed i'll see you in the next read thank you for watching stay blessed goodbye for now